Hey everyone, today I'm going to review Crimson Trace Beretta 92 Grips LG302M. Before I do anything, I'm going to do a quick safety check. There's no magazines in the gun. Nothing in the chamber. The weapon's clear. And for comparison, I also have the newer LG402M grips here on my Breda 92FS. Again, I'll do a quick safety check. No magazines in the gun. Nothing in the chamber. The weapon's clear. I've reviewed the newer Crimson Trace Beretta grips before. Here's the older design. As you can see, these are rubber, whereas the newer ones are plastic. The older ones have finger grooves. The newer ones don't. And there are also some other differences that we'll get into. At the time of recording, these grips have been discontinued. However, you can still get these on the secondary market. Despite having finger grooves, these grips are actually slimmer than the newer grips because the newer ones have large palm swells and the older ones don't have large palm swells. They do have smaller palm swells, but not as big. If you've ever used Hogue wraparound grips and thought you didn't like those, so you probably won't like these, it's a completely different feeling grip. The panels on these feel slimmer than the Hogue grips at the top and bottom, and also the finger groove portion is actually considerably thinner. These grips are rubber, so they are grippy without being abrasive to your clothing. And just as with the newer grips, the position of the laser really doesn't get in the way too much for holsters. You might have to modify a holster a little bit for this, but it's really not a big deal. It's relatively slim and most holster makers should be able to accommodate that. And if they can't do it, then it's pretty easy to do yourself. Additionally, the finger groove portion on the older style of grips is actually slimmer than the portion that wraps around the front on the newer style. The fit to the gun is very good. Right here is the activation button so you can reach it with your middle finger. This is actually easier to hit and that has both pros and cons because since this is on the side and easier to hit, depending on how you even set this down on a table, that laser can be activated. And if you're wearing this and something hits the button, then obviously your laser is also going to be on. One thing that actually happened with these grips is the master on-off switch actually started giving me a bit of trouble. What was happening was with the master on-off switch, when I would switch it down, the laser would still be on unless I really pushed it down harder and then it would finally go off. However, eventually that stopped working entirely and this laser was always on. So the off switch wasn't working at all. Not a big deal. I sent these grips to Crimson Trace and they were able to repair them. So now it's working perfectly fine. That's the pressure switch, and then when I switch this to off, the laser is off. When I switch it back to on, the laser is back on. So that's working perfectly fine now. One thing I really like about the Crimson Trace grips is when the master on-off switch is in the on position, when you just grab the grips, the laser comes on. So there's no separate button for you to have to press. Just get your firing grip and the laser comes on. The only other real con to these grips is, number one, they're not made anymore, but also I really wish that these were available in more colors when they were made. If you bought these straight from Beretta, they were available in tan, but other than that, they were only available in black. So if you didn't want black or you didn't want tan, you were pretty much out of luck. So would I recommend the older style Crimson Trace laser grips over the newer style of grips? If you're someone who has small hands or you just really don't like how thick the 
newer style of grips are, then yes, I would say definitely look into the older style. Or if you're getting a good deal on the older style, then again, I would say yes, definitely consider them. I actually got this set that's on my Beretta 92A1 for around $50. However, if price is going to be comparable, then I would say if the grip on the newer ones doesn't bother you, then there's not really much of a reason to go for the older ones over the newer ones. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.